Just attended was uh, uh, one of four required meetings, typically quarterly, of the Ohio Democratic Party's Executive Committee. It's a combination of elected uh, Central Committee members and then appointed uh, members who make up the Executive Committee, uh, the Executive Committee of the party. Um, you're all welcome to come back. It's a public meeting, and as you just witnessed, all the votes are public and uh, our voice votes, so stand-up votes, those kinds of things. So we will start with Joe. This is Joe Ellen Ingalls. Mm -hmm. She is a, a, a reporter here in Central Ohio. Works public for radio. Public Radio. Yeah. So let me ask you the question that was brought up out there. They, uh, some of your fellow Democrats say you didn't vet your gubernatorial candidate well enough. What about it? Do you feel like you vetted him well enough? And is, is there any chance that uh, you might decide to take him off the ticket? <laughs> uh, we don't typically, for those of you who this first time, I rarely answer Joe directly about such questions. Mark, I always do. But uh, the vetting is always done uh, within each campaign. Uh, it's a function of the 99 House candidates, the incumbents, the 33 Senate, as well as the 7, 6, 7, depending on the year, and then the federal candidates, statewide federal candidates, congressional candidates. Um, vetting is an interesting word oftentimes uh, mentioned by those who aren't really educated in the field of, of politics and, and how political campaigns are run. I, I think, having not grown up in Columbus, not lived in a big city, but lived in a place like Port Clinton where you win elections by knocking on screen doors and, and having town halls, and I'm also a member of the legislature, and over the course of the last few years I've had more than 90 town hall meetings, and I can tell you the number of times in the last month in my town hall meetings, my door-to-door, -door, my events, that I've been asked about whether or not Ed Fitzgerald had a, a driver's license for some or all or a period of time over 10 years or 2 years or 8 years, 12 years, whatever the period of time is. Here's what I'm asked about. Why Ottawa County is among the highest unemployment rates, has among the highest unemployment rates in the state, and at the, the time when half a million Northwest Ohioans have went without drinking water for four days, uh, why is it that Governor Kasich wants to repeal uh, the Clean Water Act and everything that implies with safe drinking water across not just Northwest Ohio but across the state. I mention this because there are so many more important issues that Ohioans are confronted with. And, and with all due respect, uh, those are the kinds of issues and the solutions to those concerns that we're going to offer and have been offering. We're going to do that for the next 69 days. You, uh, no offense Joe, you uh, may be tired of that answer but it's the answer that Ohioans want to hear. It's not the answer that the editorial page editors of the Columbus Dispatch want to hear. It's not, it's not uh, the kinds of things that some people want to hear. But it's going to be what we're going to say because Ohioans, whether they're working formally at Ormet, want to know what John Kasich has done the last four years. Those who want access to clean drinking water in Toledo want to know why John Kasich's trying to repeal the Clean Water Act. So there's, there's the answer. Now we 